All right, so the purpose of this video is to explain how you remotely control servos. So first you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a radio, this is mine, and a receiver. I got this pair for like 25 bucks. This one actually comes with a rechargeable battery. Nice. You're gonna want a servo and an appropriately sized battery for your servo. This one is 6.6 .6 volts. The receiver and the radio are on the same frequency. The first thing we do is connect the servo that we want to control to the receiver. Just plug it in. And make sure you plug it into the right channel. I plugged it into channel one. My remote has three channels. This is one, this is one, and there's a little button down here for number three. So now that our servo is plugged in, we need to power it. Take your receiver and your battery, and on the receiver you can see where the plus and minus go. So just line up plus and minus, plus is usually red. There, now it's waiting for signal. Now we can just turn our radio on. You can plug all kinds of things into receivers, like more servos. This here is an EDF, an electronic ducted fan, and an electronic speed controller. This one has its own battery input. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, this is a plasma sword, it's on one of my other videos. Uh, I just need to use it for the battery right now though. Yeah, this thing can blow some serious air. Bet you can move some of these. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. So that's how you make things radio controlled. It's super easy. Uh, I thought it was gonna be harder, but it's not. Uh, so I'm gonna be making gadgets and things that are remote controlled that probably shouldn't be. So feel free to hit that subscribe button, wherever it is, if you're not already subscribed. Uh, everyone that's coming back, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'm gonna teach you how to create the, the red button on the side. Controller. avoid this type of attack. Here's the thing. Just be careful.